Good morning, Mason gang. I have a little surprise for you. You know, I've showed you guys, maybe I have, maybe I haven't, my red pickup. It's a beater. It's what I've been driving since I was in high school now, I think. But uh, added a truck to the fleet. Look at this. The drip, yeah, I fit it up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. So, yeah, got a new truck. Pretty cool. I'm still gonna be driving my red truck because, well, I wanna run into the ground. But I needed a truck that I could haul more stuff so I could do more projects without, well, struggling to move things around. So, this is, uh, Ford F-250 Super Duty. It's a 2019, so it's a year old. Only has 17,000 miles on it, which was a heck of a deal. Uh, this can pull a whole lot of weight, which is awesome. You'll feel in any Super Duty, or for the most part, it's very stiff when you drive. You can see right now, I have roughly uh, four or 5,000 pounds on that trailer, and there's plenty of clearance. And my old truck, it would have totally felt that weight and the suspension would have been all crushed and everything like that. So Ashley and I, the lovely wife, we decided that we needed to buy a truck and have another truck on hand that we could use for bigger projects. Therefore, that's what we did last weekend. And now I'm using it, which is pretty fun. I will not be driving it on a day today because like I just said, I do want to run my other truck into the ground and I don't really care what people think about me and my vehicle, but this will be a really solid vehicle to have on the side when we do work like today, which will be doing a retaining wall. Said, I'm working on this paver wall. Let me just start by saying I screwed up big time. I, I told you guys a couple videos ago that I'm trying to do all these different jobs so I have an understanding of how long it takes and how we can price things for three timbers. Well, let me show you something. It is approximately two o'clock and this is how far I've gotten. Pretty much gotten half of it done. And um, I still have three more of these things to do. I honestly believe that I would finish all of this in a day, which was a mistake for sure. So, kind of stinks, because yeah, I'm gonna be working for a couple of days on something that I'm not making a lot of money on, but that's okay, that's how you learn, that's what we're in it for anyways. But let me just tell you what my mistake was. So I was under the impression that maybe when I did these, stone pavers that well really they're concrete but I thought that I'd just be able to lay them down along the ground and I just stack them up but then I remembered that for each of these that I lay down I have to add gravel um, what I used was paver sand and I had to level out every single one of them and then after that I would have to make sure every single one of them lined up in a circle which is becoming very difficult. On top of that, I made the mistake of not noticing that there is a pretty severe slope from this tree down to the paver wall. Therefore, I have to get a ton of dirt to fill in this backside. And yes, this paver wall is gonna be another two pavers higher. Therefore, it's gonna be a lot of dirt that's gonna be filled in around that rock. So, a project that I thought I was gonna get done in about uh, 
10 to 12 hours. Looks like it's probably gonna take maybe like 24-ish hours, which is a bummer. So just be aware of that. If you guys decide to do a DIY project at home and you do these pavers, make sure you give it a little more time than you thought because it takes a really long time to level things. Really long time. Actually, let me show you that quick. So, ah, trees, ow. So essentially what I'm doing is, I'm taking this paver base right here and I'm putting it in the hole that I dig out. You can see the trench that I dug. And I use this uh, stamper, whatever you call it, to basically stamp it down, compact it, and then I use this level here and I put it on every single paver. And you can see with every paver, like this one isn't level yet. Um, something like this, you can see every paver, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's glare. Every paver has to be level. So you have to have it level running horizontally and you have it level vertically. And you can see it in these two sections, kind of level if it focuses level if it focuses so doing that with every single paver ends up being a crap ton of work which i didn't take into account so i'm gonna go grab some lunch and then we'll just get back to it I could get this project done in a day. Yeah, I'm a third of the way through the project. There's supposed to be four more of these built, and you know, you're thinking, well, that's horrible math, Bobby, if you've only done one and you're a third of the way through. But the thing is, they're a lot smaller and they're over there. But you can see we finished the first one, almost. Still gotta add dirt to it, but it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty. I'm, I'm happy with it, for sure. Still gotta add a bunch of dirt in here to backfill the wall. So that's gonna be quite a bit of dirt, but it's all good. So we'll be coming back tomorrow and we'll finish up those other trees and lose a little money on this one, but we learned. And that's why legitimately, like I was telling you, that's why I'm doing this. So I don't bring on employees and lose a bunch of money to employees while I'm trying to learn how to do this stuff again and quote this stuff right and do it properly. So sometimes when you're starting a business, that's just what you gotta do. That's sometimes the sacrifices you need to make. Sometimes you gotta eat some costs, some time, and that's just life. That's a fun thing about being an entrepreneur. So that's what we're gonna keep doing, and I'll see you in the morning. everyone go fix the hat progress was made we are officially done with the first retaining wall look at that the dirt's all evened up probably added about two yards of dirt along here you can see that added some seed along the edge this bed is looking pretty freaking good if i say so myself looks pretty nice right I gave them a bunch of black dirt so they can actually plant things in here bed one of five is complete Hopefully the other ones don't take nearly as long. They won't because they're a lot smaller. And you'll see those coming your way right now.
just saw we were so close to finishing, but then I realized I was 25 concrete blocks short and I am at a location out in the country. So I had to drive out here to Menards and I'm actually a long ways from home now. Uh, had to get those couple of blocks, just a few blocks. Isn't that disappointing? But also great, we got them. And I also realized on that paver block wall that I was just doing, I realized I'm gonna have to actually cut a piece for it to fit properly. So I came out here, I grabbed this uh, chisel piece and then my hammers and everything like that are in my other truck. So I bought a new hammer while I was at it. Anyways, Raminards, I think we have the last piece to the puzzle and we're gonna be all finished up now. And uh, I'll see you in a moment. And hopefully I'll be giving you the final tour in a couple of seconds. Like I said, I needed to break one of these stones and I don't know how it's gonna work because, well, it's hollow on the inside. But I'm gonna try this chisel, try this hammer. And I'm gonna try to break it where I need it to break. And we're gonna find out. And usually I'd have safety goggles, but I don't have any. So use safety goggles. I'm gonna just close my eyes in the right spot and we'll try our best. All right, you can see that broke apart a little bit there, which is nice. Um, we're not even close. Just figured it out. As you can see, broke a couple of them, but we finally got one to work. And now that circle is complete. just finished yes yes we did it took a little longer than expected but we got her done as you guys can see we got this bed finished look at that nice wall beautiful you can also see that we put a couple of hostas a couple of other random plants in here we have some solar powered lights that are cute and these people love cats so some cheesier paw prints it made them happy they really liked it so that's all that matters. And then when we want to, we go across the yard here, you can see we did another bed here or another wall. We did another wall over here, which is looking fancy. And we put a bunch of dirt in here. And then we did a couple more in the back. And sorry, I'm kind of hustling because I got to get to another job site. Unfortunately, I won't be taking you with me because I'm going to be in the water, but I wanted to show you this stuff before I left. Here's bed number four. I still need to blow things off, but it looks pretty good. And bed number five. Gorgeous. And there's a fire pit there that they didn't want, so we just kind of got rid of all of the excess dirt and put new dirt in, leveled it out. But that's looking pretty good. And yes, it did take a couple extra days. Actually, it took one extra full day, which was a bummer. I was just off on the quote, but now we know, we learned from it. it. Took two days to do this project. It was 300 pavers. Actually, it ended up being 340. It was good. We learned how to do it and we did it right. So with that, thank you for watching today's episode of The Mason Gang. I love all of you and I'll see you next time. <laughs>